Hello and welcome to Train Your Brain. This is a place where we explore, discover and learn together in a fun, interesting and simple way. Each topic hides something special, so stay with us and uncover the world of knowledge. In this first season, I have prepared over 200 exciting videos on topics like how things work and why, the greatest inventors and their ideas, natural disasters and what to do during emergencies, fascinating facts about our bodies and emotions, looking back at history, exploring space, planets and our world, fun experiments, the incredible world under the microscope, discovering animals and much more. These videos are made to inspire young and older explorers alike. And now it's time to start. Today I have something really special for you. Are you ready? So let's start! science, making a homemade volcano. Have you ever wanted to see a volcano erupt right in your own home? Well, now you can, with a simple experiment using things you might already have in your kitchen. Here's what you need, a bottle or a jar, baking soda, vinegar and red food coloring. Here's what to do. First, ask an adult to help you set up your experiment area. Put some newspaper or a tray under your bottle or jar to catch any spills. Now, take your bottle or jar and place it on the newspaper or tray. Next, add some baking soda into the bottle or jar. You can use a spoon to do this. If you want your volcano to look extra special, Add a few drops of red food coloring to the baking soda. It will make the eruption look like lava. Now for the exciting part. Pour some vinegar into the bottle or jar. Watch closely as the vinegar reacts with the baking soda. It will fizz and bubble up just like a real volcano erupting. And there you have it, your very own homemade volcano. You can try experimenting with different amounts of baking soda and vinegar to see how big you can make your eruption. Just remember to have fun and be safe! I hope you enjoyed this part. Well, what do you say? Did you already know that? Shall we discover something new? Do you want more? The next video is filled with even more fascinating facts, so be sure to stay with us and check it out. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Frozen fun. Ice cube races. Are you ready for a chili challenge that's as cool as ice? Let's have some fun with ice cube races. All you need are some small toys, water and a freezer. Here's how to do it. First, choose some small toys that you don't mind getting a little frosty. Maybe some toy cars, animals or even little figures. Second, put each toy into a separate compartment of an ice cube tray. You can use different toys for each compartment to make the race more exciting. Third, carefully pour water into the ice cube tray, covering the toys completely. Fourth, ask an adult to help you put the ice cube tray into the freezer. Now it's time to wait patiently while the water freezes and turns into ice cubes. 
fifth. Once the ice cubes are solid, take them out of the freezer. Pop each ice cube out of the tray and place them on a plate or tray. Sixth. Now it's race time. Put the ice cubes on a flat surface and watch as they start to melt. Which toy will escape from the ice first? That's the winner of the race. It's a fun and frosty way to learn about how things melt and change from solid to liquid. So, gather your toys and get ready for an icy adventure! Isn't it amazing how much we can learn about the world around us? What do you think about this topic? Share your thoughts in the comments! But we are not done yet! There's another fascinating video coming up. Maybe you already know some of these things, or maybe not. Stay tuned! Blast off! Make a baking soda and vinegar rocket. Are you ready to launch into a space adventure right in your backyard? Let's make a mini rocket using simple ingredients you can find out at home. Here's what you will need. A film canister with a tight-fitting lid, baking soda and vinegar. Here's how to make your rocket. First, find a safe outdoor space to launch your rocket. Make sure there's plenty of room to run around and watch your rocket soar. Second, open the lid of the film canister and put a small amount of baking soda inside. You don't need too much, just a pinch will do. Third, now pour some vinegar into the film canister. Be careful not to spill any. Fourth, quickly snap the lid onto the film canister and place it upside down on the ground, lid side out. Fifth, stand back and get ready for liftoff. As the vinegar reacts with the baking soda, it creates gas that builds up pressure inside the canister. Soon, your rocket will shoot up into the sky like a real spaceship. It's a simple but exciting way to explore science and learn about chemical reactions. So gather your materials and get ready to blast off into the cosmos with your homemade rocket! This was the last video. And that's all for today. I hope you had fun and learned something new. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Learn something new every day for little steps on our big journey. Let me know in the comments what content you would like to see next. Your ideas are always welcome. Thank you for joining and see you again soon. Bye!